So I've been trying to figure out all day how to get a DynamoDB table to hook up to the API gateway to give me a publicly accessible API URL. So I think I finally figured it out. So let's see how this goes. So I'm going to click on DynamoDB and I'm going to click on create a table. We're going to call this test. Uh, the partition key this is like the primary key. We're going to call this my ID just for the fun of it. We're going to keep it as a string and use default settings should be fine. Create. And now it's creating a table. So you can see over here, I've got two tables. Uh, the bottom one is the one I just made called test, which I managed to misspell. So we're off to a perfect start. So I'm gonna click on items, and this is basically the rows. There's nothing in here yet because I haven't entered in any data. So let's start doing that. Put a couple lines in here, create an item. And here you got my ID. And then we're gonna give it a string of one. And then we'll go ahead and append another item to this. We'll call it a string. And we'll say notes. And here we'll just say AWS is hard sometimes. And we'll add another one down here. We'll say string again. And I'll say date. And I don't know, we'll just type in today's date. Probably not the way you would do that in the real world, but I'm just trying to add some data. Click Save. And now you can see I have one row. Do another one. My ID, string, two. Append, string, notes. And that one, I skipped the date. I guess I could add it in here. Uh, let's see. Insert append, probably. String date. And we'll just do it in a different format, just because this is fun. And there you go. I got a couple lines. Why don't we do one more while we're at it? My ID, three. Go down here, append string notes date now okay so now i got three rows in my tst table so that's all we need to do over here although i am going to go back over to here and we're going to need this Amazon resource name. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a policy. So I'm going to go back, click on this, and we'll go to I am. And we're going to go over to policies. And here we're going to create a policy. And I'm going to use the policy generator. And we're going to do allow. We're going to click find the service, which is going to be the Dynamo which for some reason is not where you'd think it would be. There it is. Actions. What I'm going to end up doing in this one is we're just going to query it. I'm going to ask for the information. I'm not going to pass any information in. I just want to see what was in there. And then here is where I just copied it and paste. I just need to paste that in. And I'm actually going to go back a couple of steps to just where it says table. And then I'm going to put an asterisk. And that's going to be a wild card. I can get anything I'll be able to get any table, hopefully, if this works. I'm going to click on Add Statement. And there you go. We'll go ahead and click Next Step. I didn't see this the first time through. Policy name. We're going to call this Dynamo Test. And here you can see the policy. Basically, allow DynamoDB query resource the database, DynamoDB, the region you are in, and then your account number. And then if you want to lock it down, you'd have the table name here. I just did asterisk so I can get any table. And it doesn't like me because I put a space in there. And now if I filter this by types, customer managed, then you can see I've got Dynamo test. So once you got the policy, then you need a role. So I'll go over on roles and we're going to create a new role. And we're going to say, Dynamo test role. 
We'll do no spaces this time. <laughs> and this is where I got really lost. So there's a bunch of pre-made roles. And here's the Amazon API gateway. I select. And then there's just one random policy. That's not what I want. So you can go past this. Next step. And we'll say create role. And there's my role. And now we're going to go attach the policy that we already made. I'll do filter, attach policy. And then you also have to have a trust relationship. And I think that's already right. I didn't do anything. We'll see if it works. And one thing that was helpful in troubleshooting this is the simulate policy. And I already got that opened up here. And so you have your policy over here, the things you want it to do, and then run simulation. The tricky thing over here is that by default, the simulation resource is asterisk, which is everything. But you probably want to have it locked down over here to just one thing, and that doesn't allow access to everything. And so they kept failing. That was very frustrating. OK, so we've got a policy. We've got a role. We've got the database table. Now we need to go do the API gateway. So we're going to create an API. New API, API name. We're going to call this Dynamo Test. Create API. Under Actions here, we're going to do Create a Resource. And we're just going to call this My ID. That's the field that we're going to use. And so this is going to end up being the URL, URL of whatever Amazon is going to give us slash my ID and then slash the number create resource and then we're going to do another resource create resource this time it's going to be curly brackets well not up there my ID here again and then down here it's going to be curly brackets my ID sort of a, a way to get the variable my ID out of what we're going to pass in create resource and then we're going to do a method and this method is going to be get, because we're trying to get something. At least I think that's what it's for. And then here we're going to do advanced AWS proxy. Do your region. I was doing US West, uh, West 1 a bunch of times. It's really US West 2 is where I'm at. Pick your service. This is Dynamo. Nothing in the subdomain. Method. Everything for DynamoDB is a post. So even though over here we did get, this is still post. Use action name. The action is going to be query. And then here we need the role that we gave it. So we're going to go back over here. And here's our roles. This is the test role. And there is the ARN again. So I'm going to copy that. Back over here to the gateway. I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to click Save. And then you get to this sort of workflow. One thing that I found very frustrating is that there's no way to edit this that I've been able to find. Once you, that last screen we're on, it's gone now. And I haven't been able to figure out how to get it back to just edit something. If I did the role name wrong, I wanted to be able to edit it. I can't figure out how to do it. So in here, the only thing we're going to change is this integration request. Integration request. And down here, we're going to do mapping. Uh, I have been checking this middle one, not 100% sure what that means. Still learning this. Add mapping template. It wants you to type application slash JSON, but it won't actually give it to you. So you have to type it in. And then click the check mark. And then that gives you this place over here to do a template. And the template that I've been using is sort of based on this. And this is the whole thing I've been doing is based on this article using Amazon API Gateway as a proxy for DynamoDB. If you scroll down to the bottom is where he did his get comments. And that is this part right here. This is what he has. 
in the mapping. We're going to copy that, go back to the gateway, paste this in here, and then we need to change it. So the table name is not comments. It was TST. The index name, it's not an index name. We're going to have to change that. It was my ID, but it was an index name. I believe it's primary index. We didn't actually create an index. And over here, page ID, this also needs to be my ID. And one more time down here, this needs to be my ID. And actually, that's not primary index, it's primary key, I believe. Not sure if capitalization matters, but we'll give it a shot. Table name TST, match the primary key my ID, and my ID is going to be what's going to be passed in as the parameter on the URL. Click save. And we're going to cross our fingers. We're going to go back up and back to method execution, and we're going to do test. And the first one I did was one. So if we click one and click test, what do you know? It actually worked. Count one items. My ID one, the date. Notes, AWS is hard. If I change this to three, there's three. If I change it to four, there isn't one. It's gonna give an error of some sort. And so now you've got this working. Next thing you have to do is to deploy it. So under actions, deploy API. Deployment stage is going to be new. I'm going to call this test because that's what everything else has been called. Deploy. And now here it's giving you a URL. We'll click on that. And you're not going to get anything because you haven't done the path that we said we were going to do my ID and then a number. And now look at that. We got what we put in there. This isn't properly formatted yet. I haven't gotten this far. Uh, you can see count one, probably didn't want there. Items should just be my ID, colon one, date, and then the date's got this S in there. I believe when you go back to here, and not on the stage, want to be on resource, that I believe here in the, in the response, you can clean that up. 